Hello, my name is Agatha and this is an interactive tarot reading in which I'm going to be using the Russian Tarot of St. Petersburg. I bought this a long time ago, I don't remember how much it cost me. So, this is an interactive tarot reading. If you'd like something similar, please write to duniazad at gmail.com for your own personal reading and I would be delighted to work with you. I'm going to do something, you know, that I thought of just for fun. This is for entertainment purposes only, okay? Okay. And for anything related to the stock market and, uh, you know, stuff and investments and anything like that, please, please, please see an advisor, financial advisor. I have no idea about that. This is just an interactive title reading. So... Have a stock in your mind, okay? And the question that I'm going to ask the tarot is, what will be the result if you buy that particular stock, okay? What will be the result if you buy that particular stock? Again, this is for entertainment purposes only. I don't want to know what stock you're thinking of. It could even be, uh, you know, crypto coins or anything like that. Anything um, related to the stock market, you know, that kind of demands a chance. So, what will be the result if you buy that particular stock? And again, don't tell me which one it is. Uh, and this is a timeless interactive title reading. Doesn't matter when you find this uh, this uh, video, you are meant. To found to find this video so think about it i'm going to do three interactive three readings and you pick you can pick either you can pick one two or three or you can pick for a certain stock number one for another stock number two for another stock number three okay i'm going to use the same deck let's see so first stock two minutes and first stock what will be the result if you buy that particular stock that you're thinking of? And it's, it's going to be a five tarot reading, okay, five, star, five card reading. Cut. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. First one, let's see. How many... Ooh. How many major arcana cards? You have one major arcana card. Okay, so you have the Queen of Cups. So you might this might represent you. You might be I would say a woman. Uh in her late thirties or after the age of forty. Not necessarily, you can be a bit younger, but you are a mature woman, you are a leader of yourself, you are someone with some sort of leadership abilities uh, from a fire sign, Leo, Sagittarius or Aries, you might have something in those signs, it could be, for instance, a rising sign in Aries or you might have like a moon in Leo, something like that, and um, you, you might be the type of person who kind of does her own thing you don't ask you know opinion from anyone you know exactly what to do you are very secure within yourself so you know what to pick you're not you're not an idiot you know how to pick so this might represent you and your general it's like you have money and you can spend it and you can afford to invest okay or this could be the type of stock you're thinking of and uh, because the Queen of Clubs or the Queen of Wands uh, relates to anything to do with creativity, um, you know, you're thinking about something connected, I would say, maybe, which is entertainment, which is related to entertainment of some kind. I don't know what that could be. Uh, you know, games, you know, um, online games, uh Computer games, I, I don't know uh, what companies have uh, stock, uh, are, are in the market, uh, that those types of companies. So anything related to gaming, 
anything, not just necessarily just um, computer games, it could be other types of games. I don't know which the, what is the company that owns Monopoly. I don't know if they are in the market or anything like that. I'm not telling you to go and buy it. I'm not saying that. Okay, I'm not saying that. You already know the stock you're thinking of buying. Okay, and it relates to entertainment in some shape or form for fun. Uh, it could be movies, uh, like companies that um, are in the market and they uh, like I don't know, big. They produce movies, uh, for instance. Anything related to entertainment, and it's a good quality stock. That's what, we, what you're thinking of now. The basis, the root. The Three of Cups, it's something, this type of stock is something where people go out together and enjoy the product product of this company. Again, I'm thinking movies. So they go out as, as a group and they enjoy this, the product of this company. Now, I just thought of something which is kind of bad, but I'm going to say it. It could even be... You know, um, drugs? Oh my god, I just thought of cannabis. Oh my god. I'm not saying that. I'm not telling you go out and buy, you know, stock from uh, some sort of pharmaceutical company that, uh, that can, you know, um, uh, that can sell to the public anything related to those types of things. Okay, I'm not saying that. You already know what type of stock it is. You know it in here, okay? So, it's something that helps people enjoy themselves. Now, this could be, like I said, anything to, connected with entertainment, or it could be uh, anything connected with, I'm sorry to say, legal drugs that are used in a bad way, that should not be used in that way, but are used in a way that they're not supposed to be used, and and I'm thinking pharmaceuticals, okay? Or it could be, I just thought of that, and this could be used in a very legal way, anything connected with wine and beer. It's something that helps people go out and have fun, okay? It's that type of stock that you're thinking of. Now, the past influencing the present and the future, and like I said before, uh, it doesn't matter when you find this video, you are meant to find this video, at the time that uh, you were uh, searching for something similar. Uh, so today, today, yes, today is the 23rd of January 2018. You can find this video like 2020, 2040, I have no idea how things will be. So the page of clubs. Again, you're thinking about, so this is like a message. Maybe you are, in your bank sent you uh, some sort of message. Uh, maybe, you know, you have the stocks in the bank and maybe from time to time there's like a newsletter and your bank sent you a newsletter all oh, these stocks are really good you should totally buy them or something like that or oh, uh, there's some sort of message that reached you and you thought mm, I should buy that stock because probably it's gonna go up that's what you're thinking I'm not saying it's it is or it, it isn't or just talking with someone just had this idea or they are some they are new new to the market they are new to the market and they are strong i just thought about something else also it's something that helps a group of people being together facebook stuff like that facebook snapchat anything connected with people related relating and and talking to each other again i'm not telling you go and buy it i'm not telling you that you already know what stock it is okay so it's maybe it's something new I don't know, again, I don't know when you will be seeing this um, video. Maybe it's some sort of a new um, stock that's in the market that allows people to be together. Could be a new wine company that's really successful. Could be a new social type of app, you know, that's really successful. Uh, and you're thinking, hmm, I know they're going to be, uh, they're going to be sold. They're going to be put on the stock on the, in the market. So... You're thinking about it. You're thinking about it. And then, what's on your mind or what you want? There's a five of clubs. Everyone wants this stock. I don't know. Everyone is competing to get this stock. So the prices might be, might be being jacked up because everyone wants it. 
there's a lot of competition to get this stock and it maybe it could it could be overpriced yeah it could be you are afraid that it's overpriced because everyone wants it if everyone wants it the the prices will be up so that's when you're in your mind that's this is not what you want this is what you're thinking about you're thinking everyone wants this everyone wants this this is I should get it because everyone wants this. I don't know. It feels like it's being like pumped up uh, quite recently with the page of clubs. Again, like I said, it doesn't matter when you see this video. You are meant to see it. The prices are being like everyone. It's like this. It could be this artificial uh, excitement about this stock, which is kind of new. You know, and you're you uh, it kind of uh, freaks you out you kind of unsure, unsure like should i buy it should i not buy it mm, okay now the result it's the hierophant i could read this card in many different ways one if you do buy it it could be this whatever stock it is it could have the potential of becoming the type of stock that everyone wants to buy because it's always safe and secure. That's one of the, the meanings of the Aerofund. It's, it has the potential of being the, the type of long-term stock that you want to keep. It has the potential to give you really uh, some sort of stability. It's, it's going to be stable. It's going to be stable. St is going to stabilize, stabilize? Oh God, I'm sorry. Stable within a, th a certain type of price range, but it's still going to be up. It's going to be, it's going to be an expensive, but uh, type of stock. But it's, it's going to be stable, and you kind of, you know that this is kind of safe. It's a safe type of stock, so you, it's, it would be uh, a good bet to, to uh, bet on it, to, to buy it. However, you should keep it. It's not, you shouldn't, um, again, I'm not a financial advisor. You go to a financial advisor. I'm just saying, this is just a title reading, okay? Okay? This is just another in instrument at your disposal. And you, after listening to everyone, um, experts and non-experts, you make the decision, okay? So, this could have the potential of being a very good stock. And I'll say maybe within five years because it's number five but you have to keep it you can't don't buy it with the intention of i'm going to sell it like within, within a year don't do that the only way it's going to stabilize stable stable oh if you if it is if you keep it you have you have to keep it in order to to make a profit it's the longer you keep it the longer it will make a profit another way of reading this is that uh, I see this card also as the card of government. So, you're going to have to pay maybe heavy taxes connected with whatever you're thinking of. Whatever you're thinking of is going to cost you in terms of taxes, okay? But still, if it's long term, it's probably a good bet, I would say. It needs to be kept for a very long time, okay? On that type of investment. And if, if this type of stock gives you dividends, dividends, it's better, it's safer if you keep it for a very long time. Okay. Uh, don't don't buy it with the intention of taking your money out. It's going to be there. At least understand that you have to make a commitment of at least five years. Okay. This is. Okay, it's a long-term type of commitment. The longer, the longer it's there, the longer you have it, the longer, the more it's gonna, it's gonna be worth. I would say. Uh, so this is option number one. So we are going to option number two. Option number two or stock number two. It's the same deck, and I'm not gonna use the same cards. It's gonna be other cards. Okay, so. Keep that stock in your mind. What will be the result? This could be a different stock that you have. What will be the result if you buy that stock that you're thinking of? Okay, and it's going to be a five-card reading. Again, I'm not a financial advisor. I'm not an expert. You talk to those people. Okay, this is for entertainment purposes only. You talk to those people. If you'd like something similar, 
I can do something similar to, to, to this. However, it's again for entertainment purposes only, and you should should uh, understand. You must understand that the the choice is always yours. And for me to do this this something similar to you, and I could even do it like within uh, with twenty cards instead of five, for instance. I would do it within the agreement that you do not tell me what stock it is. I would prefer not to know. Okay, so would you like something similar? Like you have, let's say, 10 stocks, something like that. And you'd like to know uh, which ones to keep, which ones not to keep. Uh, I can give for which each one of those stocks a uh, title reading. Could be either written or filmed. And, you know, you can get the package deal. <laughs> If you'd like, within the agreement, within the agreement that this is for entertainment purposes only and you check with the people who advise you and within the agreement that I do not know the name of those stocks. Okay? 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 So contact me. Contact me. Uh, so, choice. Keep that stock in mind. What will be the result if you buy that stock? Okay? That stock you're thinking of. If you buy it, if you keep it, it's more like if you buy it. Okay. Five card reading. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. How many major arcana cards? Zero. Okay. okay so. So the main theme, you have the Seven of Clubs. Is this stock connected with the army? With the military? With anything that connects with defense? With defending yourself? Or uh, people defending themselves? Or states and nations defending themselves? It's something to do with defense? With protection, it's that type of stock. I'm thinking military, but it, it does not necessarily mean it has, has to be connected with a military type of company or a company that produces weapons or something like that. It's something connected with defense. It's that type of stock that you're thinking of. It could be surveillance also. Uh, maybe you're thinking in investing in a company, a company or certain types of company connected with surveillance. So because, you know, this guy is up and he's, he's, he's going to defend himself from people that we do not see that uh, outside the frame and they're like going up. So he, he's, seeing, he's seeing them. He's prepared for them. He's prepared for those people. So I'm thinking... Either defense or surveillance, anything connected with that. That's what you're thinking. Now, the root, the causes, you have the three of coins. They are experts at this. It's a company which is an expert in anything connected with, and I'm seeing the bird now, I'm seeing the little bird here. With surveillance drones? Is it drones? Anything to connect it with drones? Don't tell me. Okay, you can you know, write it below, but it, I'm, I'm just thinking of all possibilities. Drones, surveillance, satellites, surveillance satellites, but uh, whomever this company, whom, whatever this company is, they are experts at that. They are experts at defense, at surveillance. Some even at drones for surveillance at weapons, something like that. They are experts, and you probably have spoken with experts, with uh, people who um, advise you, who give you financial advice, and maybe they have told you this is a very good stock for you to buy. You should buy it. Maybe, maybe this is another way of reading this card. Now, the past influencing. Uh, the present and the future. And again, it does not matter when you see this uh, video. Okay? 
You can see it in 2020. You can see it in 2030. You were meant to see this video, okay? At the time that you find it. Um, the past is the Nine of Swords. So, either you made very bad bets in the past. And you're not, and right now you're afraid of buying a new stock on investing in, uh, you know, a different type of stock. Or, again, uh, as the central theme, the Seven of Clubs, I could read it in a different way. I could also read it as someone that you have a lot of, I don't want to say a lot of money, but you have enough money for you to invest on the stock market. And people are just trying to, like, buy this, buy this, buy this, buy, buy this. And you just you have to, like, fight them off, like... Let me make my own decisions, and you don't know which one to buy because maybe you want you want to have you, you want to pick one, you want to pick the best one, and people are just like pumping, uh, just annoying you with that. And in the past, I would say that you you feel that you made bad choices, bad investment choices. You bought the the, the wrong stock, and you lost a lot of money, and you're afraid of that happening again. And this is why I would say that you're talking to experts. Again, this is for entertainment purposes only, okay? This is just another, another thing that you can take to help you, you make the decision, and it's you who makes the decision, okay? So, or another way of reading this card is that something happened to this stock, and this stock or this company is being attacked. And because of that, in the past, again, I would say the recent past, um, they lost a lot because they were being attacked. They might have lost a lot of value because of that. And you're thinking, is it worth it? Is it worth to bet on this company? Will they go down more? Now, what's in your mind or that which you want? You have the six of swords. You want to heal. Yeah, you, you really, you might have had some bad bets. You might have uh, bought things that you should not have bought. You might have spent a lot of money in that. But you're back in the game. And you want to heal from that, from your past mistakes. Could, be, could have been a mistake, yes, but not necessarily. But you want to, you don't want to... That this feeling of regret and, and pain and, and sorrow, you don't want that to be in the way of you getting back in the market. You want to heal from that and you want to make a good decision, a good choice. And not based, this choice not based on fears. You want to kind of defend yourself. So you want to also want to buy the type of stock that will sustain any type of attack. That will endure no matter what also. And I'm thinking because of this card, the Six of Swords, this company might have something to do with defense, with defending people. Uh, what else? It could be also the type of stock that's connected with the medicine field. Why? Because the Six of Swords is the card of healing. So... Have they discovered something? Did this, if this company is not connected with defense and the army and the military and weapons and all of that, it's, it could be a big pharmaceutical company that has made some sort of discovery or a new, um, has made some sort of invent, not invention, but, um, a medical discovery and they have to fight others off other companies that want their product 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 or medicine or and they have to I'm thinking patent patent field patent um, fighting fighting in the court for the right to have the patent and they have and they have had sorrows in the past connected with uh, maintaining the patent 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 or having the patent, it's like everyone wants it. Everyone wants it, and you you're not quite sure if this is the company that will have the right to uh, commercialize this product, that product, whatever it is. And you're thinking, I don't know if I should bet on this company or the other company. Maybe you just have money to buy the stocks from one company, and you want to bet on the right company. 
And this could be a company connected with also another way of reading it with the medical field. And they've, they've created something that has the potential to heal. And they have been working on it with experts for a very long time. Again, this card also tells me anything connected with the defense. Now, this company could make, for instance, boats, not boats, tiny boats, but whatever um, vehicles that go in the sea, boats, ships, it's ships that are used in the military. That's rare. These are, these are not cruise ships. I'm sorry. I, I, I don't see this as cruise ships. So they could do uh, ships also. Another type of company. So what will be the result if you do buy this stock? You have the Knight of Coins. It will take, their, it will take its sweet time in order to grow. You have to let it be. You cannot touch it. You have to leave it there. Okay? Think that if you buy this stock, it will take a very long time in order to develop its full potential in terms of price. You, you, you just have to buy it and leave it and never think about it because it's just, it's going to take a while. It's going to have like a slow development. Maybe there's some sort of ongoing um, uh, court problems connected with this stock, with the patent of this stock. Maybe people, let's say that this is a company that deals with, that makes weapons. Okay. Let's say that a lot of people who got killed by these weapons are suing the company. This will affect the stock price. I'm just, just giving you an example, okay? So, whatever it is, you might buy it, but understand that you it's going to be a slow development of the price. And you just have to let it sit. And it's not going to be, it probably won't give you the amount that you were expecting. It won't grow all that much. It's going to be, it's going to be, it's going to, it's going to grow slowly in not all that much. So understand that if you do decide to invest in this stock. Now I'm going to go to option number three. Um... Okay, 27. Okay, option number three. Whatever stock, I'm going to use the same deck, but I'm not going to use the, the cards that I've used for the option one and two. I want to use different cards. So have the stock in your mind and um, and what, the, the, the question that I'm, I'm going to ask the title is what will be the result if you buy that stock? This is for entertainment purposes only. Always check with your financial advisors. This is just another thing that you might use, might choose to use to make a decision. Do not base your decisions solely on this. Okay? Okay? Okay. Don't, don't, don't you go writing me, I did what you said. I don't want to know what the stock is. You have it in your head. Whenever you find this video, is it was meant for you to find it at the time you found it because today it's the 23rd of January 2018 I'm going to place this video on YouTube and probably it's going to be in other places because it's just normal um, so if you find it let's say in 2020 you were meant to find it in 2020 so this third option or a third stock that you're thinking of buying what will be the result if you do decide to buy it? Again, you make your own decisions. Have the stock in your head. If you'd like something similar, I can do something similar to you. For you. Uh, with more cards, instead of five, could be, you know, ten or twenty. Uh, and it would be the same type of condition. You do not tell me what the stock it is. You understand for it's for entertainment purposes only. You understand that you are the one who makes the decision not me, and you always check with your financial advisors, with people who are experts at this, okay? If you'd like something similar, uh, please write to me. I can, you know, have a little 
package instead of just one reading, several readings, and it will be, you know, discounted. So, let's see. Uh, let's see the third stock. If you buy this stock that you have in your mind, what will be the result? Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this. Central theme. No, here, indecisive. The root. The past. Okay. What's on your mind? And the result. Okay. All of them, it's all of them seem to like the all of you who are seeing this this video. You all seem to take the long term view of an investment, and that this is not to uh, this type of stocks that you're thinking of. If you happen to see all uh, uh, all of the options, all of these stocks that you thought of, all of them it's for long term investment. I would say the best one is the first. I would say. Uh, Okay, so the central theme, the two of swords, you're indecisive. You're indecisive. Or, if this represents the company that has that stock, this company is right now, at the time that you watch it, that you watch this video, there seem, they are, there seem to be like Indecisive about something about their route, uh, their route, their 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 road, their road, uh, their way as a company. So they maybe they're like presented with two different ways, and they don't know which one to take. And so this company might be at crossroads. That's what I'm thinking. Whatever this company is, th yeah, yeah, they're they're thinking of starting something new. Ooh, this could be a good company to invest in. Again, long-term thinking, and it might take four years until this um, stock fully develops. Uh, so, this could be like a company that's going on, that's been around for a while, and they are indecisive right now about the the, the road they want to take. If they want to continue on the same road, or develop something new, or go on a different path. Or this could be a completely new, different, a new company. It's in, and you are the one who's indecisive, and you don't know if you should bet on it, if you, you know, should buy stocks from this company. And you're like, eh, I don't know if, 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 if I should do it, because you don't know all the information, the stuff, and you feel it. You feel it. I don't know everything. You know, there's maybe there's like stuff they're hiding. Eh. Maybe they're hiding good stuff. And you're thinking, should I invest on it before the the prices are checked up? I would say yes. Now, the root, the basis, the causes, the ace of clubs. This is a brand new company. This is a way of reading it. Or this is a company that's going around for a while. However, they're like either going on a different path or they are investing on something completely new. And they are doing it with passion. I would say whatever they are investing will give them fruits because I'm. These are I, I don't know if it's a tree, but to me it seems like it it has fruits here. I know it's not fruits, but that's what it seems like. It. Okay. Because it's the clubs, it could be something connected with the entertainment industry. It could be movies. It could be online gaming or gaming. It's something that, you know, is passionate. Either this company is passionate about it, or it's the type of thing that it's for fun, for people. It's the type of product, product in which they are investing right now, or they are developing right now, or they are launching right now. It's the type of thing where people really, really like to do. It, it's, it's just, it's fun. I, I don't know what it is. I just thought of Disney. Just this is came my went into my mind, but please don't something similar to Disney, you know, something like that. I'm not saying go out and buy Disney stocks. I have no idea how that works. I'm not saying that. Okay, this is for entertainment purposes only, and you already know what is the stock in your head. You already know, so it could be the type of entertainment, the type of I just thought of amusement park. 
It could be it's a place where you go. It could be another way, a place where you go for to have fun, um, or it could be some sort of app. You know, a company that develops uh, some sort of app that is fun for everyone. I don't know what it is. Because of another card here, I'm thinking it might be something connected with kids. Where kids go to, something which is fun for kids, toys for kids. Is this like a toy company? It could be a toy company. It could be a brand new toy company. Or it could be a very old toy company that is... Um, doing something new something something new and they're doing it because they because they want to but should they fully embark in whatever the, the it is is it's like they themselves don't know if they should fully commit to whatever it is this this new thing this new product product which they are launching they themselves don't they're like they don't know yet uh it could be a brand new product. It could be a game, like a, not a, a board game. It could be like a board game that has the potential to sell, I don't know, gazillions, uh, a lot. This is something new. Now, either it's an old company that's embarking on a new path or it's a new company that's bringing, bringing out something new. Now, the past influencing the present and the future. You have the Eight of Swords. So, now, this could be you. It's, it's weird, like in the in the, the, the next, in the, the, the reading number two, uh, the card that came out was the Nine of Swords. So, um, in the past, either you felt victimized, maybe you bought, I'm sorry, the wrong stocks. And you felt like, oh my god, I was a victim, I, uh, we invested in the wrong stocks. And you felt cheated, and you felt like... Um, and you felt like you were, uh, how do you say, uh, preso, how do you say preso, preso, how do you say that, like tied, tied up to those stocks because they, they like fell, and you could not sell them until they went up, and maybe they never went up, if you felt like cheated somehow, you felt victimized because you bought stocks that were not good they were not a good investment or you never bought anything because you're too afraid you're too afraid of making a, a of taking a risk and because you're too afraid of taking a risk and this because you're very indecisive maybe you lost out on an opportunity because of this fear this is another way of reading this card now if this card represents the company itself also in the past it's like this company is tied up in something Maybe they have uh, debts. You know, maybe they have lawsuits. Uh, it's like this company cannot move forward. They themselves might have had in the past a very limited point of view, a very, a very, a fairly, fairly limited vision for themselves, uh, and they're like afraid of going on a new path. Afraid of investing in something completely new and different. They're like afraid. And because they were afraid, maybe um, they were losing money, not earning a lot of money. They were not expanding. That fear kept them in the same place. This is another way of reading it now. What's in your mind and that what you want? You have the Six of Cups. That's Six of Cups. Uh, and you see children here. So... You might want to buy this to give as a present to a child. You might want to buy this for your kids. So you, want, you might want to invest this type in, in this type of um, stock because you, you're thinking about your kids. Okay, 10 years from now, 20 years from now, I'll have something to leave them. It could be something like that. It could be an actual gift. Here, son or daughter, here's the stock for you. I bought another stock or, I don't know, 100 stocks or something like that for you, for your portfolio. For, for your portfolio. It's something that you might even do as fun. You know, the yes of clubs. It's like, it's like a nice, fun type of leisure time uh, that uh, for you and your kids. I'm just, I'm just thinking about something. Like, this card, the Two of Swords, kind of reminds me of the Justice card. It's very similar to me. Let's say that you are a guy. 
and you are divorced and you don't know what to do with your kids when they are with you or with your child. You have no idea how, what, what am I going to do with my child? And maybe you got divorced because you solely focused on, uh, I'm just giving you this as, as an example. I have no idea. Okay. Maybe you got divorced because you were an alcoholic and you were devoted to your job and to your career and to your profession. And maybe you are someone who either likes stocks or that's your job. You're a fina financial advisor, something like that, something connected with stocks. And, and you just think of something. What if I teach my kids or what if I teach my child about stocks? Your kid could be six years old. And that's like the fun time that you have with your kid. Okay, okay, I'm going to teach you about this. And this is this might end up the way you spend your time with your child or with your children, doing doing something, teaching them something. And honestly, I would say whenever a child is with their parents and they have the full attention of the parents, I would say that whatever the parents want to teach, in a nice, kind way, because this card also speaks of the generosity. Uh, they, whatever, whatever they're teaching, whatever they are being taught, they just, they think it's amazing, you know. So, if you're teaching them how to buy a proper stock, how to choose the proper stock, if you're doing it as fun, as a game, as a way to spend. Uh, good quality time with your kids, I would say go for it. They would like it very much. You would like it very much. You were teaching something valuable to your kids. You were giving, giving them knowledge. Whatever you're buying, it's for them or for him or for her. And it's an investment also. So either you like saying all the rules rules to your children. Let's say, you're, let's say you have a six-year-old and you say, okay, daddy, Daddy buys, and I say daddy could be mommy. I just don't, okay, don't be mad if it's, it's a mommy, okay? I'm saying daddy, okay? Uh, daddy buys and sells stocks for a living. Would you like to learn about it? And the kid will be like, okay, okay, okay. So would you like to know how I make my choice? And the kid will probably go, ah, 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 tell me daddy. And you go in a very basic level and you teach your kids. So... So, after everything that I've told you, after we've analyzed this stock and that stock, what is your decision? What do you think? And the kid will be like, wow, I think this, this, and this, and this. So, I think that maybe, probably, we should buy that one. Oh, my God. This is so awful. <laughs> it could be something like that. Okay? So, it's for fun. And it... it ends up like in a few years you have a good or your kid has a good you know uh, portfolio okay so it could be that you know or you could be just simply buying to give to your kids without having this type of this uh, interaction or the stuff that you're thinking of buying has to do with kids with entertainment for kids now again it could be something like an amusement park, or it could be a board game for them, or it could be something brand new and different and original for kids. Not necessarily entertainment, but uh, any other type of, like a clothes, a clothes line, a clothes line, like a company that makes out outfits for kids and it's in the stock market, and that's like a brand new clothes line, for instance, for kids, for children, and for young children. And they decide this could even be a fashion type of company. And they decide to go on this new route connected with kids, with kids' clothing. I, I don't know. And you decide, hmm, this seems interesting. And you decide to, you know, invest in that. So what will be the final result? Result, you have the four of coins. I would say this is a good investment. Okay. It might take four years until this stock rises but this is the type of stock that you don't sell that you keep all of them all of them are the type of stock that you don't sell you keep as an investment you keep it for the future okay it's like a either like you're building your retirement plan or you're giving this money for your children or for one of your kids 
This is a trust fund. I just thought of that. Uh, it's something that you put away for a rainy day. But it has the potential of being a very good investment, of giving you security, of giving you stability. I would say of all of them, the first one would be, I would probably say the first one is like the best one. Let's see. Yeah. And the first one will have a lot of competition. The second one, eh, uh, you might not lose money in the second one. But it will take a very long time to grow and it will not grow all that much. It will be eh, tiny, tiny, tiny. And this one, the last one also, also is something connected with children or you do with your kids. Or it's something fun for amusement. And it's uh, allow, you, allow you to put money away for a rainy day. It's, it's, it's a good investment, I would say. Uh, so this is it. This is the reading that I have. Again, this is for entertainment purposes only. You make your own choices after you talk to your financial advisor. Okay, this is just a title reading. If you'd like something similar within the same type of rules where I do not know what type of stock you are deciding to buy, you can write me. Okay, you can write me. And that's it. Uh, again, my email is duniazad at gmail.com and I hope you have a great day.